Welcome to Date Night Podcast, a tabletop role playing game podcast set in the homebrew world of Volyanaya. Let's explore a whole new world together. Thoot, you are 500 feet away. Suddenly, the, charm the fog lifts from your eyes. You realize that you've been had. You are immune to it for 24 hours. I dim door back. Okay. Because screw that crap. Okay. Marina looks like she's getting ready to run. Cool. Welby's eyes are glassy. Great. <laughs> All right. Yeah, everything that you left. <laughs> That's all I can really do this turn. So I'm going to dim door. Not directly, like, right in front of her face. Okay. I want to be, like, 40 feet away. <laughs> no. 30? An exact 30. An exact 30. So you are... Between Marina and the castle, but 30 feet away. Where I From am. the jester. From the jester. Yeah, yeah, you were Welby. Were you where you dropped Welby? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Where I dropped Welby. That's okay. where I'll be. Okay, so that's my action. All right. And for my bonus action, I just basically want to do absolutely fuck all. Fantastic. But I want to look at that jester... You don't see it. No, I know what I okay, see. Okay. But I know what they see, so I have to describe it for the crowd at home. Right. You guys, everyone else sees a jester. Only I yes. see this strange mall open, <laughs> like oh. insectoid. Yeah. yeah. Awful. Uh, I assume it's gray. But I could be wrong. It's it's might very, be purple. Purple. Yeah. Look! Yeah. <laughs> like every other love, love, you know, cosmic strange. horror. Strange. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just want to stare it down. So I bonus action on speaking its mind and just be like, fuck you. That's fair. I'm killing you. Okay. Well be. <laughs> Make it there. There you go. Uh, Marina. Run, dash. Okay. Marina begins Does she to, pass me? She's coming right up to you. I want to fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a reaction check? <laughs> An attack of opportunity? I will say yeah. Yeah, attack I do that. And I want to I want to I want to close armor or close <laughs> close liner. The only thing I'll ask you to do yeah. is make an intelligence check. Okay. So you or Oh, that's fair. Intelligence or uh, uh insight. Lee. Whatever. They they're, they're going to be bad either way. They're, they're not going to work probably. Um if I would have I, I appreciate that. So Yeah, they're very good. Never a good thing. No. To say, seven. Seven. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, bad. no. Bye. I was gonna say if you rolled high enough, I was gonna say you read her eyes yeah, and realize yeah. she's I get not it. looking I get at it. you. She's no. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Sixty feet past or thirty feet past um, this one. Th- yeah. Towards. Like, towards like the I was castle. saying, she should have gone that way. Yeah. All right. Callum's turn. That's number three. Demon's turn. <laughs> Ray of Frost. Let's talk about Ray of Frost today yeah. on D and D spells with Michael. On this episode of Talking <laughs> About D and D Spells, a frigid beam of blue light. Now I'm not going to read the whole thing. Range spell attack. 17 plus, it's going to hit. So, 2d8 cold. Against whom? You. Counterspell. All right, yeah. It's a cantrip, so yeah, that's, that's going to that's gonna work. You have spell slots left? No, I'm just kidding, huh? Oh. Damn. Yeah, you only have and two. I <laughs> thought Ray of Frost was higher than that. I didn't know it was a... No, right. it is a cantrip. Evocation cantrip. Yeah. No, you're fine. So you take nine cold damage. Damn it. And your speed is reduced by ten until... The, wait, what's the... You were you were 30 feet away? Yeah. Yeah, okay, it's, you're in range. So yeah, your speed is reduced by ten until the start of your next turn. That's okay. What it says. That's what it says in the yeah, description. Yeah, strange description. No, the start of her next turn. The caster. Oh, that makes more sense. Right? Does the spell say your next turn? Start of your next... Yeah, the caster. Yeah, the caster's yeah, sorry. next turn. Yeah, I did dim door twice. Damn, okay. All right. 
And that's going to be her action. She doesn't move because everybody else is not a threat. So, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, your turn, Fook. Yeah. Winch. Fine. Um... Then I Eldritch Blast her twice. Okay. As I walk the 20 feet I can towards her. Yeah, I'm killing Muscles her. Muscles are a bit stiff as yeah. you Yeah. <sighs> natural like, yeah, 20. Oh, shit. And not a natural 20. Okay. Um, 14. 14 does not hit. Okay, so just like hitting it once. Um, double die, 1d10, so 2d10. There you are. I'm stupid. That 10? That's a 1. The double zeros is a 10. Okay. Because you can't roll 0. Yeah. Okay. So that's a 1. 7. Okay. And 8. 15. Oh, shit. I thought. 4. Uh, 11. No, that's not the problem. The problem is I erased half a number and I forgot what it was because I thought I had your damage total. Interesting. Eleven was the damage total that I just gave you. All right. Okay. I don't know if that helps. I think I remember what it was. All right. <coughs> cool deal. Well, the <laughs> check off round number four. 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 Your yeah. last name's Checkoff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Interesting. It's one of my many names. Marina, move <laughs> another sixty feet. Yep. Run to the prince. Do I trip? No. You don't get to save no against trip. that at some point, huh? No, I'm killing it. Unless it was a suicidal command or a... Uh, kind of. I would think maybe it would be a suicidal... <laughs> Make an intelligence check. Well, no. it's not directly suicidal. You're going to have to roll basically a nat 20 to figure that out. Intelligence is 19 plus 1. That's not a natural 20, so no. Sorry. All right. Yep, that's <laughs> Marina's turn. Uh, Callum. Four. Four of five. Was that four or was it three? That was that was four. It's four. You're at four? Okay. Demon's turn. Uh... This is one of the people on your list. This Jester? There's only two left. Prince and Callum. Oh. As I'm running away. She recognized me. I did not recognize her. But you okay. know everybody what they look like. She actually closes the distance between you and her, Thoot, and she's going to reach out. And touch me. <sighs> Three plus eight, eleven. No. She's just going to whiff. You see her. her no, I want her to like glide her nails across my chest. You and don't want her to touch you. <laughs> you see this. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want her to touch you, he says. <laughs> one, of this, one of the tentacles just gets wreathed in this black shadow energy and tries to whip out at you. You, at the last second, kind of, whoop. Hey. <laughs> goes, like, whiffs right past your face. Gross. And you sense that you just missed getting hit by something. And I don't nasty. need to be hit with. Yeah. Uh, let's move that. Yep, that's her turn. Thoo. Now it's my turn. Oh, she's in range, too, isn't she? She is. Took a gamble on that one. I fucked. <sighs> well, I don't know. I don't... I whiff a lot. <laughs> Yeah, see, um, low end, I, I, the, the, the 12 doesn't hit. 12 does not hit. The, the 19, I would hope, does. The 19 does. Okay, hit. great. Or it would, it, no, it hits. <laughs> uh, I still have that stupid Warhammer out. Um, so that's, yeah, it's not, not real good. It's not real good. Um, okay, that's fine. It is what it is. Uh, it's, it's 10 points of, of damage, bludgeoning damage. Okay. Um, do, do I don't think I can do anything else. I don't have any spell slots, really. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> I get to move next time. 
Look at the bright right, side. Yeah. With not that many people being in combat, the rounds go by really quickly. Really yeah. Saving spell slots like crazy. Yes, <laughs> yes you are. And you know, I almost took Banish instead of Dimdor. Uh, this would have been the time for that. This would have definitely been the time for and that. Like, oh, you want them to go away? Yep. <laughs> it's gone. Pocket dimension. Yep. Well, no, this would go back to its home plane. I don't know that. Well, okay. Now you do. Now you, the person, does. Right. Okay. Hi, I'm Joshua. Well, me. <laughs> Good, my RPG. Mark really off higher. your fifth. And final round of stun. But it still counts, so... Yep. <laughs> Marina, run 60 feet. 180 feet away from combat. 16. Where are you going? Oh, wrong voice. 180 feet. Yes. Th- third she, round. You have to count them. Yep. Because if she gets far enough away, she's going to get actually get to the prince. No, I mean, she, Miss Marina's, say, 179 feet, 180 feet. <laughs> Except she's running, so it's like three feet to every bound. And we're back. All right. Uh, Marina, you I need back. to stop Callum. going after you because then I pick up your voice. Callum is no longer stunned. Top of the round. Angry tentacle jester lady. Yes. That was turning more Russian than Bulgarian. There is a slight difference. I know what I'm going to do. Oh, God, I hope you fail your save. Hang on. Who? Thoot. The, the only threat. Did you hear our DM? I hope you... Fa- That's not very I do hope you fa- objective. I know what you would do, and this is going to make me laugh if you do. All right. <laughs> let's, let's, let's go. I love that he knows. Wisdom saving throw, Because so far, oh. we've both said purple. Wisdom saving throw, please. Oh. It's really good. You're going to be happy, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say, do I need to pull up my phone for that? But it's currently it's not saving working. throw, though, not a, not a check. Saving throw, great. So instead of negative one, <laughs> it's a plus two. Tasha's hideous laughter. Oh yeah, it's good. It's good. So it's a um, it's a seven. Yep. Total. <laughs> you fail. Yeah, I did good. Uh huh. <laughs> so please fall down and go into fits of uncontrollable laughter, please. <laughs> <laughs> Can I? I kind of want to. Hold on. Like, <laughs> oh, wait, wait, no. <laughs> what do you, have, you, have you seen him? He used to be funny. But then you saw him, and he turned out to be a, like a creature. <laughs> he turned out to be a creature. It's not even. doesn't even like a clown. <laughs> and I go over and hold my stomach. <laughs> Bring me a drink! <laughs> is this just too good? All right, so that's their turn. Your turn is spent laughing. Yeah. Please make another save at the end of your turn. Oh, it's better. It's a 19. 19. Do a double check. Yep, 19 beats 16. <laughs> 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 you guys get all that! Will be. What? The yes. You? Will be. Well, what the hell Killer. do I see? I'm in the middle of the alley, right? Take what? zero psychic damage because I'm fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> you wake well, that's up. how you do psychic damage. Yeah. <laughs> and, you wake up like, oh. and you look up, you sit straight up. <laughs> you were 30 feet back. Yeah. So down the alley, there's the courtyard. You see... <laughs> 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 You see this feral, <laughs> feral, scary-looking Chester. Yeah. <laughs> Suit's actually no longer affected by the spell, so I don't know what this is. He's mad. He was a second ago. And you see the the Jester kind of standing there, looking <laughs> fairly ragged, but not like on Death's Door or anything like that. And Marina it just released thing. a spell on Suit. Marina's nowhere in sight because you're not facing that way. Okay. And Callum's still sitting there. He looks like he's just still. Starting to not sob anymore. Is there any cover around? <laughs> <laughs> Run away! Yes, there mm-hmm. is. Yeah? Yes, there is. I'm going to hide. Okay. I'm going to use my action to hide. Okay. <laughs> Gee, thanks. I could re-roll at one. <laughs> <coughs> All right. <laughs> It's not much better. That's an eight. What's your passive? It's higher than eight. <laughs> I'm Pass- sure. Yeah, passive 16. Okay, yeah. You feel hidden. Is that your turn? <sighs> yeah, it's an action. All right. I mean, you've got bonuses and stuff like that. Um, so, I mean, I, I'm trying to, like, crouch behind some ro- rubble or whatever. That, cool. Yeah. Marina. 
320. I don't know what the hell. 320. You were 180 last turn. I don't <laughs> match. Jesus. Dashing every time it doubles. <laughs> it's exponential. <Yeah. laughs> what is 180 plus 60? 180 plus 60 is 240. She's about to hit Bach 1. Give her two more turns. <laughs> She's hit ludicrous speed. <laughs> Shit, you are halfway there. No, it's 1320. I looked it up. You said half mile, so quarter mile. So I put 1320 and yeah. I'm marking it off. Yeah, no, you're right. Sorry, my bad. I am a fifth of the way there. All right, Callum stands up, looks at the thing angrily. 300, I have a feeling that things are going to start to change. He's going to cast Banishment. Interesting theory. I had that prepared, and then I didn't have that prepared because I recounted my spells. That's exactly what and I, I had did. To take one. <laughs> that is exactly what happened. I was yeah. like, "Yep," and I was like, yep. uh, "No, I'll choose Ooh, this instead." Rolled low. What's your charisma? I chose dim door instead. Of... What's the saving throws? Okay. Oh fuck me! Target is banished. All right. So Callum has to maintain concentration for, what is it, a, a minute? minute. <clears throat> all right. So everyone hold their actions, and we all get, I don't know what I'm talking about. Everybody hold all their things. And it turns out that we can, if we do it and we keep compounding it per round for six rounds, and then he brings her back, then we all get six attacks all at the same time, right? <laughs> I'm going to say, <laughs> no. since the creature is no longer on this plane of existence... Charm. Charm drops. Yeah, that's fair. It doesn't say anything specifically in the spell about it, but it doesn't make sense for this thing to be able to hold. Yeah, no, that's... Is it concentration? I mean, this is a... It's not a, concen it's not a concentration spell. Hmm. It's not a concentration spell, but if this thing died, it would fall off. Right. Well, you know, if, that's, if it would have died, it would fall off. Then he leaves the plane. I think it falls. Same off. thing. Yeah, I'm. I'm yeah, I'm. I agree with with you guys on that one. Yeah, no, we are agreeing with you. Yeah. No, but I mean, yeah, we all we're all in agreement. Thank you, Lord. Charm falls. Okay. I'm only 240 feet away. Okay. If Tony nothing can do else happens, she's not coming back. Just make sure. That nothing else happens for one minute. Did you have a weird dream? Listen, I took your potato sacks and I smushed them against each other to become one potato sack. So now you are one. Walena. <laughs> well, Rena? I think I liked Melby better. Uh, all right. <laughs> Melby. Not Marby. <laughs> Marble. <laughs> Except I'm way far well enough away. So anyway, um, <clears throat> are there any? Did you even find me? that funny for like uh, oh, just a second? <laughs> okay, I actually rolled well this time. Nineteen. No. I'm There's no threats around you. Dash back. Okay. Are you doing the anime run? Two, what happened three, to the Jessica? I guess I saw she got banished. Yes. Would I know that? Yes, you would know that. Well, no, you were trying to hide. Yeah. Just a powerful No, you didn't see. Where'd she but go? You, you did hear Callum say, Okay, I could probably we... deduce then. <laughs> All right. Um, is there anything around the courtyard that we I would like to worry look into about? The sky. Four rounds later, Marina gets back. Okay. You want to look into the sky in, at any direction specifically? Uh -huh. or? There's still Where a, I've been the, looking. The top sky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There is still a ghostly looking tendril. I look at what... You see in the ship. You <laughs> see in the ship. Light. He's coming. Guess what you see? He's coming. Light. Yeah. And he's gonna just grip you. Let's crush you. Who? S the sky. The sky thing. The sky, the sky cracking? cracking. Right. Now, I didn't think he was real. Yeah, I think he's real. I think he's real. Halfway back. Uh-huh. So anyway, he's so a prince. Back. Well, yes, I'm just letting and then Callum, What was he formerly known as? His hand drops away. She's gone. She's not coming back. Are you able to determine where she came from? Somewhere else. 
She I mean, wasn't. Vague, she wasn't a native of, the, of this plane. Is all I know. That's just, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, you see her. Fucking brutal, right? Like I've never seen anything like that here. You've never seen a jester before. <laughs> <sighs> Look, she turned she, into something else, though. She, she, you <coughs> saw that. <coughs> big, big, fa- the, big, big fangs, big jinglings on her eyes. You mean the jingle bells on no, her? No, no, like her <laughs> eyeballs. With that of a wasp. I'm thinking we're not seeing the same thing. I'm thinking you're not seeing the right things. That could be true. That is maybe possible. You don't see the octopus in the sky. I'm just going to say. Right out loud. I just see a light up there. I don't see the octopus. Yes. I see the light. I see the light. We agree. And that is all I see. See, you've got to open your mind. Research. Read something, why don't you? Let's go kill the prince. You turn around, and you see two more of those um, hordes from before. And you turn around. In the road or in the courtyard? As you keep turning around, you see them in every direction. Why is he only looking at Foot when he says that? Do all of us see it? All of you. (laughs) (laughs) That was fair. Now's the time. Dimension Doros over them. Listen, the problem is I've used mine. What? The plan was to get you out of here. You hear he was a, charmed. You hear a, a, a large uh, war horn, and then you hear commotion and clamoring. You've heard, you've been hearing screams the whole time you've been here. These are no longer screams of madness. These are screams of battle coming from <clears throat> not completely off to your to, to the east, but as the sound approach gets closer and closer. You see the hordes that are in front of you turn and start going down the back alleys. You turn around the hordes that were behind you, turn and start going down the back alleys towards this sound. Conflict. And a few moments later, a shining figure breaks through the hordes, knocking undead, not undead, but bodies. Yeah, coming towards you. Can I cast something? Well, is is it the moose? No, it's not the moose. Yeah. Um, the sh- a shining silver hammer breaks through the crowd. And as you see, charging through a large imposing figure dressed in s- silver armor with a dark green tunic spattered with gore. He looks up and immediately you all recognize Grey Castle. The face of Jürgen Viserius Grey Castle. So got one his hammer. So broom face. My three convicts, it would seem. What are the three of you oh. doing here? Um, ki- killing the same folks that you're killing. Very well, perhaps we will. Uh, we should see to that particular priority first. And he turns back around and wades back into the thick of battle. And you hear other army, uh, you hear the Grey Castle army pretty much making war with these horrible monstrosities. We're getting a little bit late. It's not really an encounter that was going to take very long in the first place. So for the sake of brevity, in just a few moments, things are sort of mopped up. And the courtyard becomes a sort of de facto um, war station. What's that word? Like Sounds a, like, like a headquarters? Forward, like a forward base headquarters. No, okay, no, a forward base. Check makes, actually makes Check the most, yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah, Sa- I like save, base. save point. Yes. Oh, interesting. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> and uh, I loved World War I save points. <laughs> things yeah. begin to calm. My granddaddy wouldn't have made it out. <laughs> things begin to calm down a little bit. You still hear screaming off in the distance, but order is very quickly established at this uh, save point. And the Duke comes over. You can tell his armor has been cleaned and polished and, and his war hammer cleaned off, and he drops it in front of the three of you. Sorry, the four of you. Well, well. What happened? I would like, while he asked that question, to stealthily <laughs> put my hand on his warhammer. I'm not going to touch it, among, except for putting I it on my hand. I want to put my hand on it, no, but I'm not, not going to touch no, it. No, I'm not going to like... Roll I'm, 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 Try to say that in court. <laughs> I didn't not, touch it, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> but I'm I put my gonna, hand I'm on it. I'm not going to grasp it. 
Okay. I just put my hand on it. And I just want to think about it real hard. <laughs> the whole time that he's talking. You're trying to make this like a pack weapon? Yeah. <laughs> That's, okay, cool. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I just want to be very attentive. Okay. He put it on the ground. You're right. You're right. I'm going to say the way the packed weapon is written, you have to focus on the weapon. So For a you, minute. I thought it was an hour. Oh, was it was an hour? I think it's... You might be right. I, I, you somebody might pull right. out Xanathar's. No, I, yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. I'm going to say it, you're right. So okay. I can't do that. Never mind. It's a great idea. No, wait, this, would, this, would, this is not in Xanathar's. I'm sorry. This would be in the PHB oh. for Pack Blade. I think you're right. It's an hour. Pack the Blade is an hour. You do your thing. If it's not an hour... You'll stop me. Okay. What has been happening here? One hour. One hour. We uh, hadn't been here too long. Marina's not putting honest. down her rapier. Duke Great <laughs> Castle, sir. She's the right damage actor. So you've not been here for very long. Then in this time I will switch out to an axe. No. Um... We've just been trying to get in. Lord Montrose, uh, I trust you're doing well. Uh, Gallum looks like shit. Um, yeah, I keep giving him like healing potions and he keeps not he, drinking he, he's, them. He's, I don't understand. His wounds are healed, but he looks tired is what I mean to say. Like Yeah, yeah, but food. He's haggard. Haggard, thank you. Um, I thought that was the guy that holds the doors. That's a whole window. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I should have written this narrative down. <laughs> Lord Grey Castle, you I trust you're doing well. No, not so much. Um, Lord Montrose, you're not doing well. The city, yes. <laughs> Damn it, all the hell. <laughs> it's just a little bit of a touch of Tasha's, you know. Fucking chaotic <laughs> bastards at this table driving me crazy. <laughs> Who's he you're talking welcome. about? <laughs> <clears throat> no, the city is under siege. Something has... Some, some sort of explosion happened, and everything is, is... The city is lost. So I see. What is to be done about it? The, 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 the king uh, messaged me several days ago, saying that his son had lost his mind to bring the army... The prince. Yeah, the prince. That's how that works. We've only just arrived. We've not been long here either, but there's something wrong with the boy. I the boy, the prince, potatoes. Prince Hetron. His father mentioned as much. What is wrong with him? This? Yes, my organist tells me he explained to me that a door has been cracked, but not yet opened. Something is hindering, impairing the ritual, that it is not yet complete. Huh. Yeah. We think the prince is the one with his foot in the door. Well, how do we... We must, of course, stop him, but I'm more interested in how do we keep this ritual from being completed? If something is missing, what is that thing, and how do we keep it away from him? What? <laughs> Callum, basically the same thing. Um, we're not yet sure, my lord. Um, your arc, slowly your, moves her cloak over your, the dagger. What is your arcanist? Your arcanist say? doesn't know. I mean, he must see what I see. <clears throat> Does he, he see, see the sky cracking? Sky cracking. Ask your arcanist. A tentacle. He, he motions, and a, a, a very weaselly-looking guy comes over. His, his glasses are kind of chipped and off kilter, and he's got the big, the classic wizard, big pointy hat, and it's all flopped over and everything. Um, uh, what, what, what is your bidding, my Matuke? Look to the sky. Tell me what it is you see. Like exactly. Um, well, that's a great deal of conjuration magic, and something is definitely being summoned, and I can tell there's, there's, there's ley lines coming from this point down to approximately the center of the city, and... So you, you, don't, you don't see the sky cracking. Sky... Sky cracking. Like a giant, giant octopus squid thing. Uh, 
such a thing may be possible, but until it crosses over into this plane, I really... But well, like, what if I could see it? Can Would you, that help? You can see? Yeah, it's there. Um, it's, it's possible that such a creature could be attempting to break through the barrier, but not really able to until whatever ritual is completed. It's only a, a portion of its essence could, could make it through, through the barrier. I mean, but it would like, like drive people crazy, right? Like, whoa, well, we're weird, right? <laughs> I, I, I need to, to consult my books, my notes on the subject. Your books. I bet, I bet he thought he was going to be a wizard, and he was like, "I'm not cool enough, right? Am I right?" Look at Callum, he's, not so he's, the, he's the closest thing to a real wizard that I think is a real wizard. He's not so much a wizard as he is a, a researcher. Yeah, but look at the hat. Like you know, he wanted to be one. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, watch this. <laughs> Shh, I'll just blast into the air. Just <laughs> arbitrarily. Bird. The wizard kind of adjusts, not the wizard, the arcanist kind of adjusts his glasses. Oh. It's amazing, right? Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Just, I can do this all day. Uh, he could. I believe it. And then I fix his glasses with prestidigitation. <laughs> That's how prestidigitation works. You can make them fly I, I, off. I, I can, no, no. I clean them then. I can do that. Fair. <laughs> They're very clean. His eyes, as the as the dust and soot of the day sort of get magically wiped away, his eyes just appear even bigger, like Coke bottle framed. So, like, now do you see it? No, I still see all the same different magics. <sighs> what are you Fine. doing? Fine. I mean, there's a, a really good time to learn things from books, and, and knowing what you know from them is great. But right now, I think you could learn a lot by looking at these people, he asked you if this thing is open a little bit, if it could start making things crazy. Well, if the portal's only somewhat open, and only a little bit of its influence is here now, it seems to be causing us quite a bit of trouble with that little influence. I think... So I think we're wasting time. I think that it has made me maybe a little mad. Hmm. And I've been living with my whole life, so we should probably not let it come through. I, uh, regardless, I don't think we should let it come through. If if my deductions are correct, this unless is... we usher in a whole new kind of like way of living, like should we discuss this? No, we should not discuss this. Yeah, listen, shiny man. <laughs> the longer this conversation takes, the better for me. Trust me. <laughs> we shall establish. <laughs> We will establish a forward base here. The three, the four of you may rest, recover your strength. And three of the four? All, all four okay. of you. Okay. The four of you may rest here. We will hold the line until you are ready. Afterwards, we will, of course, not resort to books, but resort to first-hand experience of just what the prince is doing. Well, you're here now with your army, so I suppose that means we can go home. My men have marched all night long. They, of course, need a rest as well. We will set watches. I'll do. You need not fear. We will watch over you. Is this agreeable? You're not going to arrest us, though. Because, like... Not under such circumstances. Uh, great, as long great. As you do not harm my men. Perfect. Can I just spend some time... With your hammer? With your hammer. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's very nice. Thank so in the you. meantime, I've conjured mine to look like his. <laughs> to look like his? Yeah. Okay. It can be anything I want. It's true. So I want to replace them, but I can only stay within, like, a few feet of him. <laughs> for the next hour. Duke Greycastle picks up his hammer and starts to walk away. But does he pick up his, or does he pick up the one that I made? He picks up the one that his hand's been on the entire time. He sat it down. (laughs) Yes. Like this. He does drive. It's a big (laughs) fucking hammer. (laughs) Like a cane. (laughs) Don't you mean this one? (laughs) No. (laughs) Damn it. (laughs) You guys like to take a long rest? You may. Oh. Yes. So not a you, great one, I imagine. You hear cries of battle, screams, and, and constant fighting, 
but it does appear that the guards have erected barricades and are sort of keeping everything at bay. You do see more of the uh, um, hordes and a few of the sort of wolf-like creatures that you battled back at the Montrose estate, but nothing ever seems to break the line for all of their snobbery and rigidness. The Grey Castle force appears effective. And somewhat uneasily, you all do fall asleep and get your long rest. And I think that's where we're going to leave it tonight because it's starting to get a little bit towards the end of our session time. I need to roll my stuff then. Roll your stuff. Nightmares. Everyone's going to feel better except for Marina, who had a really bad night. I'm Eva, and you're listening to the Date Night Podcast. If you're interested in our homebrew items, class and race options, and other unique things about our show, you can get more information about most of them from our friendly neighborhood Game Moms Dungeon Master Guild titles. Some of them are offered free or pay what you want, and others are just a few dollars that are used to help support the show. You can find all of the titles by going to our website, d8nightpodcast.com, and clicking on the store tab, or by searching for Will Mayer on dmsguild.com. There are titles like The Path of Fury for the Barbarian, which I think is pretty cool if I do say so myself, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Rules for Building Your Own Homunculus, Bloodlines, A Guide to New Playable Races, Backgrounds and Feats, and Crinkle Fire Touches, Guides to the Homebrew Magic Items Made for Our Campaign. Now let's get back to the action and hear what's in store next for our dumb idiots. Let's go. Let Mike do D and D's, guys. So it's definitely our fault. Welcome back to Potato Crew. <laughs> On our last session, the crew made it to the now ruined city of Kyron. Um, the city itself was burning when they arrived, and they had to dodge packs of these not undead, but definitely former citizens of Kyron. Um, they did end up having to fight two at the gates and from the ichor, or I think as we called it, blech, yeah. of their mm. ruined bodies arose these dark gore hound that's things. What that is, that's what's written on my sheet. Okay. Gore hound? <laughs> goo puppy. Goo puppy. <laughs> yeah. You know what? From now on. Yeah. Goo puppy. You guys had to Sammy. fight the goo puppies, which I don't know why, but that sounds dirty. <laughs> <laughs> After defeating the, the, the goo puppy, you went further into the city and evaded more of those hordes, but you came across this weird court jester type figure who yeah. Thoot saw through almost immediately and um, ended up being an abomination that once again tried to kill you because that's what it does and almost successfully got Marina all the way to the prince or yeah. like halfway or something like that, but pretty far. Let's see, that's a previous sheet. But... The party was able to banish said abomination back to whatever home realm it, it issued forth from. Yay. And uh, that was the end of that fight. Then Marina regains her, her uh, willpower and came back to the party. Things then got kind of dark as um, more of these packs of the former citizenry starting to gang up on the party. But at the last minute, as everyone has... Uh, yes. named Deus Ex Grey Castle yep. in my uh, lack of, of proper planning, apparently. Uh, well, sometimes you need you need gods the need in, the, Deus Ex Grey in Castle. the Grey Castles. It was able to break through and offer the heroes a bit of a reprieve. And Thoot managed to steal his giant hammer, if I remember correctly. Definitely. No. <laughs> that was canon. Not canon, not correct. No, and not his giant cannon. Oh, his no, giant no, but his hammer. hammer yeah, yeah. yeah. Still not right. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> potato crew. I'm not sorry. You also said we were laying down to rest because I did erase Me all too. those things. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Just yep, make sure. I have reset myself. <laughs> yes, uh, and you, you all do get your long rest. Okay. However, they a, get their long rest. You, you all. I said you. What? Why is they? Remember, what? I rolled bad. Oh, that's right. So bad. That's actually what we ended on, was your... Well, three of the four One? get their proper long rests. Marina does not, because of <clears throat> Marina. I think I rolled a one there. I didn't write it down, just no yeah, long rest. You did roll a one. Oh, I still have to roll constitution. Yes, please roll constitution. Well, no, you don't have to roll that until the morning. We're not at the morning yet. Okay. Okay. I'll hold my... 
So as most rests are in a besieged city, yours is fitful. Even those of you who get the benefits of a long rest, mm-hmm. more than, <laughs> more than one, on one occasion, are temporarily awoken by the sounds of Marina fighting. going, <laughs> <laughs> There are these strange creatures who do make that noise, as a matter of fact. No. Blah. Sometimes it seems like the Grey Castle lines are going to buckle and falter, but they do... Um, rally sort of at the last minute and push the abominations or the former. Yeah. Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the, the hordes are beaten back every time. Welby. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> During your, your moments of fitful sleep, you get the sense that the gods are trying to talk to you. But maybe it's the proximity of the the potent magics going on here or maybe it's some sort of other outside interference but you can feel the presence of Demetas and you can hear a low almost musical Aww. trying to reach out to you but you can't quite make the connection can however I, uh, I was going to say can I try to supplement the communication through the use potentially of yes and no questions and my marbles well you're asleep oh okay <laughs> <laughs> i thought this, this was when i was awake and, and no, no, fitful. No, no, no. this is still during your your long rest that okay. you guys are totally definitely well getting. sometimes while i'm asleep i play with my marbles <laughs> that's what we call an overshare how else would oh. you wake up that way <laughs> The downsides of mixed company. <laughs> this time I don't have the actual bag of marbles to do fully work with. However, there is <laughs> one voice that does make it through to you fairly clearly. So, uh, have you given any thought to my offer? You know, I certainly have. It would be real handy for a couple of reasons. To get my hands on that dagger. And your offer, I don't think, would preclude that so much, would it? Certainly would. And if you can make sure that the girl makes her way to the prince, all the better. I believe that's our plan for the morning. Don't tell him our plans. All right. I await confirmation that your service has been completed. I do have a question for you while we're here. What was that? Why does she think you're on her side? Because I am on her side. She made a deal. She has refused that deal. And this is me bringing her back into the fold, so to speak. Uh, I suppose I understand that. Though I do wonder, do you believe you and I have a deal? I know you have an offer. And I know that... I'm on the sort of pantheon of gods that have taken an interest in you. You derive your power from your gods, don't you, Wilby? Sometimes they do useful things for me, and sometimes I do useful things for them. I wouldn't say <clears throat> it quite the way you did. I can respect that. There's a, an exchange of services. So right. I like deals. Yeah. I like deals. I'm starting to get that vibe. Yeah. If you'd like to keep making deals, well, let's keep working on those arrangements. If not, well, that's up to you. I understand deals and opportunities. We'll see what happens. All right. And the connection fades. Thute, you are asleep. But you are also awake. You have this sort of <laughs> <laughs> awkward sleep paralysis is the best way I can describe it. You're fully conscious of your surroundings, but completely unable to affect them. You it's fine. stare, even though your eyes are closed, you can still see the skies above you and the tendrils of this <laughs> shadowy, horrible, occultish kind of energy seeping through, trying to gain purchase on this reality. You also see these individual little motes of darkness shooting into the world through the breach between realities. Some of them land 
not far from where you are, some of them seeming to fly off into the horizon. And if you focus hard enough, each one is a terrible monstrosity unto itself. Not anywhere near as bad as the, the thing that should not be trying to crawl its way into what is. But there are monsters coming into this world. And that's how you spend the approximate eight hours of your <laughs> long rest. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yes, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. I uh, wish you guys could have seen the face he was making. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, par- I'm, I'm paralyzed. So. <laughs> yeah, <pretty much. laughs> I'm going to tell you guys that when I wake up. But, um. <laughs> Paralyzed. Yeah. So nice There's a big fat witch that Restful me. conditions for you. <laughs> yeah, great. I benefit from a long rest, but... <laughs> you can feel your body healing, yeah. but your mind will never Just be Just pure nightmare fuel. <laughs> 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 I Real. cuddle the bed roll harder. No. <laughs> <laughs> this will keep me safe. Yeah. This, <laughs> is my, this is my security blanket right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's always done me good. <laughs> <laughs> Marina. Not looking at you. <laughs> you awaken in the same familiar interdimensional space that you've always had whenever you meet with the benefactor. And there he is sitting behind his desk. The expression that comes across his face is not one of patience or goodwill but a creature that is stretched to the ends of its polite candor. Well, hello. Hello. Getting close to the prize, aren't you? And you as well. Well, let's just say things are working out in my favor so far. Except for one small problem. You have been within easy striking distance of one of your targets for several long days now. Yes, I Why am I not uh, holding his blood in my hands yet? Because as you have seen, it has been difficult to reach some of these targets. And I figure if he is willing to help, then I may as well let him help me. So you're just prolonging the inevitable. It seems like it doesn't not. I'm asking, are you using him or are you protecting him? Hmm. I'm using him, of course. Make a deception check. Damn it. Versus your god. (laughs) It's going to go well. Very well. Oh. Oh. (laughs) Five? (laughs) Nope. He rolled a 15, so... I'm going to take what you are saying on good faith, but let me just elaborate on something. You cursed yourself the minute you took my blood. What the contract stipulates is protection from the effects. You already have my blood progressing through your system, and if I let go... And he lets go, and you feel what can only be described as sharp darkness piercing straight through your belly. You double over. Now you can make a constitution save if you'd like. (laughs) Six. If you were allowed to black out from pain, if you were not already unconscious, you would be blacking out from the pain. At the same time, you feel a surge of strength as if this dark gift had progressed its way to its fulfillment through you. But it also comes with the pain, the fear, the knowing that this would kill you under any other circumstances. And he waves his hand back and everything, the power and the curse and the pain fades. That's just a promise. Don't disappoint me. And hey, guys, it's morning. (laughs) You're all waking up. (laughs) Uh, Yep. When you awake, (laughs) Duke Grey Castle is not there. 
there is sort of a lower level lieutenant there waiting for you to awaken. Um, you still hear sounds of fighting going on in the distance. And he just, he's sitting there like very nervous energy, kind of like, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. When <laughs> is these assholes going to wake up? I don't want to die. Is he the only one babysitting us while we're asleep? Yes. Mm-hmm. Aside from the entire army. Well, no, the entire no, they've army moved is, on, right? Is no, they haven't moved saying? on. They're still there, but they're. Oh, okay. The perimeter's to, wider? The, yeah. They're dealing with the sort of constant onslaught and attacks and breaches of hell. The blah. <laughs> yeah. And the goop, goop ups? Goop puppies. Yeah. Goop puppies and <laughs> more of the former citizens and a few um, different abominations. You see corpses of laying about that have been defeated, but it has come at a cost because there are plenty of Eichneri soldier corpses laying about I as well. that. We recognize what? That weird one. S- seen him come out. So, uh, we see this one? Yes. Okay. <laughs> these these have become material. Okay. And had had the, well, your characters wouldn't know this, but I'll tell you as players. Had you defeated the court jester looking thing, you would have seen it for what it was. He right. already saw it for what it was because right. he's fucking crazy. Scary. S- scary is what it is. Uh, do I get any weird vibe other than the dude scared off the guy who's standing near us? The Desc- only other person who's visible? Describe weird vibes. It's going to change what kind of check you have to make. Uh, well, if these things can parade as, uh, these otherworldly things can parade as, um, people, humans. Ish. I don't know if I, I, the reason I stopped in the middle of that is I don't even know if Welby knows that for sure. Just like he told me. But I don't know that I believe anything Thute says. That would be the crux of it. Yeah. <laughs> if well be. <laughs> in I think, there, you have it. I <laughs> might think, I know that something weird is going on, but yeah. I also think Thute's crazy. But, There's something weird. So I, I don't really know if I would even know to look over this guy for for that on second thought. So we can we can nix that request. Well, that's fair. In the neighborhood. Um, I would say you can make a general perception check if you'd like to. I'll, I'll look around for sure to see sure. if anything is threatening the perimeter that's supposed to be around us, or okay. <laughs> that's a nine. A nine. Mm. It's a chaotic situation. Um, the lieutenant, if if he were some sort of eldritch abomination, probably wouldn't look to look as scared as he does. This is a very mortal fear okay. on his face. Familiar to Welby for sure. <laughs> yes, <laughs> uh, intimately familiar with the, that feeling. If it's time, I guess, for us to do L- something leave, else. right? I mean, the army's here now. That the cavalry's here. So we you, can go home. You're all talking to your, to your, I to am. Your yeah. Okay. The the well, they're talking. <laughs> the lieutenant approaches, but you I mean you're you're up? I'm presuming. You're not do pretending to be asleep any longer. No. Okay. Do I Wake up. <laughs> do I need Wake to roll up. a morning constitution check? Or? Probably a good idea. Yeah. I mean, you're surrounded by gore. There are smells. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's better than a five. What is it? It's an 11. (laughs) You feel like you may be able to keep it down, but it's coming right up to the back of your throat. Mm. And Callum's here, too, yes? Yes. Okay. Is he smoking yet? You don't have to throw up today? Like, that's a thing. She's pregnant, right? Yeah, so we, we've, we've established that. It's been established, that. yeah. 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 The lieutenant might not know if you want to hey. tell him. <laughs> so you? the lieutenant does come over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're, you're awake. Um, and she's with child. Not mine. Oh, all right. Um, listen, um, Lord, Lord Grey Castle is uh, currently on the front, and he's asked me to, well, ordered, really, um, ordered me to... to Please hurry you along as soon as you wake up. Um, we need this time con- for us to go then. Yes, we need this conflict Great. to end. Uh, if you could please go deal with the prince, that would be wonderful. Because uh, we're, we're losing the A battle. Tracking mission. <laughs> we we are losing the battle slowly but surely. All forces are currently occupied with keeping back the tide so, of of horrible things. So, um, Lord Greycastle brought an army so we could deal with the prince. Lord Grey Castle and the army are currently dealed with, or are currently occupied by dealing with all of the other horrors. <laughs> what kind? Oh, is it like deer prints? Hmm. Are we tracking? I'm not good at tracking. No, not prints. Prince. prince. <laughs> Formerly known as. 
Prince I guess Hedron. Really you could say, <laughs> if he doesn't have a city, is he still really <laughs> So we have to hunt him down. The one who's causing all this purple rain to be It's not Prince up there. I'll tell you that right now. That's, that's uh, nightmares. Uh, uh, that's straight uh, out of my brain. Our scouts, <laughs> our scouts do know approximately where the prince is, uh, but Arr. we are currently unable. <laughs> Poor Mike. <laughs> I don't even know what that was a reference to. No, he's prince. talking prince, like animal prince. Uh-oh. So prince R instead of prince <laughs> is. <laughs> Oh, it's a princess. <laughs> He's that way. <laughs> he already points. tracked him down for us. Is, is this the the fortress? Yes, or where the fortress was. Okay, so the fortress is In the is center of all intact. of the city right. and chaos. You guys did notice when the first beam of unholy bleh, right. came down. It, 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 I thought it shot up. Yeah. <laughs> when the connection between... Sort of like lightning, lightning. really. That's how it happens. Yeah. Yeah. It reaches out. Right. Reach out and touch that. When that event occurred, man, yes. man, both of you, he's the only good player right now. It's <laughs> true. Both of you. It's true. No, I'm playing in character. <laughs> when that event occurred, you all did notice that the castle, the keep, the, the, the structure was ob- obliterated. Like in, in that sense, like, is it a hole? Is it rubble? Is it still two stories standing up in places? Or I have a feeling you, we'll you have to look. You haven't seen any structure left, but you're not yet close enough to okay. decide whether or not it's a crater or okay. something else. Fair well, enough. But something tells me you will soon. Yeah, okay. We were heading that direction anyway. And, I, and they well, came in to save our ass. That was the plan. And I'm kind of tired of dealing with this anyway, so let's get it over. Yeah, if, if you could hurry. <laughs> you're coming with us, right? What's your name? I, I, I'm, 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 I'm a level two! <laughs> I'm Uriel? You're real. Sounds you know badass. What? Yeah, you're, that's, that is what I was going to say. <laughs> I I could come if if you're if you're needed if you need have need. We of need me. you. All right. We need more cannon fodder. I mean, that Let was not in her voice. <laughs> look up standard guard on a on a stat block. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's at the end of the, the going to go very well. Monster manual. I believe they're challenge rating one eighth. <laughs> I believe they are too. Yep, that's that's accurate. That tracks. Okay. <laughs> So wait a minute. Not only did we guess how many dungeons, how many dragons, <laughs> we also you're also getting the challenge ratings now. That's good. You're well, he jump. was sort of basically ordered to uh, protect you. <laughs> yeah. And, and so yeah, and so come along then. I'll stay close to you for my protection, Uriel. Thank thank you. If you make it out of this alive, you know you're going to get a promotion, right? I need an ally too now. Oh, I already have one. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's let's go. Either way. <laughs> I'll silent speech to Marina. Uh, are you sure you want to bring the dagger to the prince? Seemed to me they were trying to get you there. Can I respond? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, but like verbally. <laughs> That's the question. I think his you can, but mine you, you can't. Unsure shrug. Well, I'm convinced. I asked last time, and this was after we had stopped playing, can I cast spells with an oven mitt on? Sure. Okay. I will don I'm going to say that mitt. there's enough, barely, room manual dexterity to do the... the, the motion portion. Yeah, okay. So Unless that. you're trying to, you know, grab a pan and cast a spell. Right. If you're grabbing a pan and right. casting a spell. A pan? Kind of yeah, because then your hand is full while right. holding, holding it and you can't cast a spell. Unless you have Warcaster. No, I, I'm not trying to hold anything. Right. I'm just I'm trying just to wear the oven. a joke. I'm okay. taking her joke and folding actual rules into it. And I want to try to make sure my shield is open before we approach. Okay. Easy enough to do. Okay. No nat ones. No ones. Cool. Shield opens perfectly fine. Okay. That's all the preparations I need. <laughs> you got all your spells? Yep. Cool. Hold on. Let me set up my last will and testament just in case. Axe. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I forgot his name. Are there any Uriel? leather? Uriel? He, is, he can be my shield. 
He's openly weeping, <laughs> especially upon hearing that. What are you walking behind him? Hell yeah! Just with a hand on his like the the, the crook of his the, the nape of his neck. Something <laughs> smells even worse now, Bleeding. and I look over and he's messed his pants. I think a perception check. Okay, <laughs> it's two. Okay, you hear him whispering, but you have no idea what he's saying. Great. <laughs> That's pretty normal for me, I think. Actually, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I hear a lot of whispers. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so uh, poor Uriel in front. You guys are led down the same alley that Marina tried running and sprinting down yesterday. And <clears throat> sorry to stop the momentum, but the fighting is behind us now. Yes, it's okay. sort of spread outward. Got it. The line, the line is thinner, but there is more space that's currently being controlled by the Great okay. Castle Army. Got it. So you guys are led down the main thoroughfare towards the keep. A few moments later, you do get close enough to see the area, and I'm going to go ahead and pull out the battle map. Ooh. Can we move this stuff in the middle here? Yeah, we could have done that before, probably. Yeah, sorry. And we're back from all of that setup. I, I, I am taking away to a realm of fantasy looking at this map. <laughs> <laughs> Here. <laughs> I have no good players. <laughs> Wait, what did you put up? Oh, uh, realm, this is my realm of fantasy creator. <laughs> that does it. <laughs> <laughs> I drew you people a flying airship, so I destroyed it, okay? <laughs> so, coming through the now ruined and just, at this point, smoldering, smoking buildings, uh, you come across what used to be the keep. It has been leveled, um, not perfectly flat level. It's not literally <laughs> yes. kicking over this baby. I couldn't find an actual like kid looking. <laughs> <laughs> when I fell down into your cell box, I knew it had to go in the drawer. <laughs> Creepy kid. It's what it's supposed to be. He's standing on top of it right now. <laughs> I feel like we walked on a silent rave and we don't have any earphones. <laughs> He's just dancing. <laughs> and when you. So you see the. <laughs> So you see the strange dancing baby. No, you don't see a strange dancing baby. Thute does. (laughs) (laughs) We'll get there. All right, great. So you, uh, upon (laughs) you taking pictures now. Shut up. Okay. It's the carved hands. (laughs) The back of the head. We'll be right back with you, viewers. (laughs) Viewers. Listeners, whatever. <laughs> what, what? This is, no, almost, I don't want it to end. It's almost my birthday. Be nice to me. <laughs> it is. He's almost. That's it's true. almost my birthday. Is that I'm, true? I'm trying to be nice to you. Shut up. You're four <laughs> days older than me. Stop picking on me. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you all that close. Yeah. yeah. Are we? Are we? We'll be good, Mike. Lies. We want a. We want a, a big <laughs> clash thing. Okay. Upon arrival, after making your way through the smoldering ruined buildings of what, of what once was the shining inner city of Chiron, you come across what was once the keep. The keep has been somewhat obliterated. It's not, it's not completely level. It's um, rubble along, the, along the, the face of the whole map, but there's nothing that's bigger than a few stones. Looking out at it, you do know that this is going to be considered difficult terrain. Okay. Oh wait, that's my other character. In the yeah, and I'm pretty sure Kira doesn't have stones as her. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, in the middle, there stands what looks to be an ancient stone altar, so old that it doesn't even have recognizable like artistry to it. It's pretty much a big rock slab that has this sheen of magical energy running across the surface of it. And if you had to guess, whatever is coming down from overhead is connected to this altar, for lack of a better word. If I had to guess. And I do want everybody to make perception checks for me in the no. stillness of this moment. Roll high, roll high, roll high. 18. 
Eight. Ten. Ten. Welby notices that the energy sparking off the Great Stone is going in compass directions, uh, sort of bleeding out into the city as well. And you've noticed it coming up to this point, but it hasn't clicked until now. The streets are all built like spokes on a wheel, Hmm. and the walls have been sort of like the hub on a wheel. This magic seems connected to that in some way. Things turning? The altar itself is not turning. No, the city. The city is, is, is not turning, but you get the idea of the city being a giant wheel that is maybe capable of doing such. But right now, the bolts are, are, of energy are static. moving in the four main roads. There, uh, uh, maybe moving is not the right term. It's, it's coming down and mm-hmm. then arcing out in these... Cardinal directions. Correct. Cardinal directions, thank you. And is one of those the direction, the road we're coming up on? Like, are we in you're, danger you're in of being the road. near the energy? You're on the energy. Well, I don't like that. But it wasn't, it wasn't <laughs> very prevalent until you got and saw the, the sort of the source of it. I actually have been having you guys make perception checks for this coming up. Do, do we, I get any sense of if the energy is uh, putting us in any kind of danger? It hasn't yet. Okay. You could make an arcana check. Sure, I like those. <laughs> <laughs> the roll wasn't too good, but it's plus 10, so <laughs> 17. So it's 17. fine. <laughs> it's good, it's good. It doesn't appear to be having an effect at the moment without okay. understanding more about the nature of the magic or understanding what it does. You couldn't tell if it's harmful or not. Sure, fair okay. enough. Okay. Standing atop this stone altar is the prince, Prince Hedron. He's not a creepy-ass baby like that. (laughs) However, Thoot, you see him a bit differently. He is the prince, dressed in very fine clothing, brass buttons and a gray coat, Um, his hair combed. You would think in the midst of this destruction that the prince would look somewhat disheveled. He looks very well put together. But you see... sort of the same tendrils wisping off of him that you see coming out of the sky. Almost as if he is a creepy baby version of whatever is coming out of there or trying to come out of there. Hmm. That would be the way I would describe that. Sure. Okay. So yes, creepy baby mini is very appropriate. And he just sits there. A small 10 year old ish child. Eight pound, three ounce. Into baby Jesus. <laughs> Try, baby Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, Wilby. You should probably trust me this time. Remember that shit on the street? Yeah. You didn't believe me. Then you seen it when you woke up. He's one of them. For some reason, I have no doubt about that. Skin looks good. <laughs> Am I close enough to them to hear this? <clears throat> yeah, you guys are all together. Unless you don't... Well, Lieutenant, do we, there's nobody the else. Charge. Nobody else around? Mm. Nobody else around. Do you think he can be saved? The Lieutenant? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'll be fine. It's Ain't not whispering prince. anymore. Well trained. He's well actively trained. actively praying. <laughs> Pray to your gods, boy. <laughs> do you think the prince can be saved? Uh, maybe if you remove his head from his body, we can save the teeth for, like, a necklace? So, no. Or the skin probably wouldn't be good enough even for, like, instruments. Is he looking at us? Like, has he seen us? Staring right at you. Like your standard creepy Ringu child. However, if I can be saved, (laughs) which I definitely have been, not insane, been right the whole time, powerful wizard... Maybe, but I think we should just kill it. Can I use my one fourth level spell to cast freedom of movement on myself? Certainly. Can we could try to wrap him up in my bedroll? <laughs> I, I take comfort in it. <laughs> I 
Hey, Lieutenant, you go left. <laughs> oh, all right. So feel free to place uh, <laughs> Uriel anywhere on the battle does he map. Get 30 feet on the <laughs> yes, he does. All right, we're going to run away. <laughs> <laughs> Again, that tracks. <laughs> Eldritch Blast, run away! Um, You've come a long way. Oh, Lord. I, I mean, so so have you, I think. No, I live here. Uh, Where? No, 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 he doesn't live here. That's a lie. I well, live he here. lives in the sky, or in my brain, kind of, also. Mutually? It's a big word for me, I know. <laughs> We're tourists. You're interlopers. See? I've heard that word before. It's another big word I know. Don't trust him. Taking a world that doesn't belong to you. <laughs> removing, He's also running away. <laughs> removing the rightful order of things. But fear not. It will soon be reestablished. Maybe not. So I'm going to whisper to the lieutenant's what's brain. What's Marina doing? I'm gonna, I want to whisper in the lieutenant's brain. <laughs> okay. And I just want to tell him, as stealthily as possible, <laughs> I need you to knock the baby out. <laughs> <laughs> the 10-year-old prince. So your telepathy, is it conscious response, or do you just hear surface thoughts? Oh, that's an interesting thing. Um, I'll also silent speech to Marina to spread out or start... Start moving. Because I can reach that far. If you want to move, I can move you. It's up to you. You can stay there. You want to go on the other side of Callum? Yes, please. I, it's not like I'm peering in. I can communicate telepathically with him. Straight line so I'm not peering into like him. That? So even though you see this yeah. barely not weeping, knobby need shaky figure... The mental voice that comes back to you is, "Okay, of course, I will. I will attempt to do that very thing." <laughs> Even a different accent than what it's I. It's great. No, I love it. I love it. All right. All right. Yeah. You. 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 You're our only hope. Uh, don't cross the streams. Don't get the key master with the gatekeeper. None of that. <laughs> None of, just hit it in the back of the head to knock it out. Stealthily, please. Yes, my ally. Of course, I will do this. Perfect. for you. You will be commended, sir. <laughs> I'm sure. We will sing your praises, <laughs> I say out loud. <laughs> um. So the prince looks up, sees you all starting to make tactical moves against him. Well, I guess the time for talking is done then. No, it? but like... Roll initiative. Thanks for sharing our date night with us and exploring a whole new world together. We'll see you again next week. Until then, keep in touch by following us on Twitter at Date Night Podcast or visiting datenightpodcast.com. 